In this module, we would like to highlight three specific areas that can help you improve your affordability. These are saving on common everyday expenses, reducing short-term debt, and applying for a FLISP housing subsidy for first-time home buyers should you qualify. Here are some pointers to help. Pack your own lunch. Less takeaways can save you a fair amount per month. If you are traveling alone to work, join a lift club. Sure, you will be forced to leave and return from work at a specific time, but is convenience or saving the priority right now? Apply the 30-day rule. When you think you need an expensive item, wait 30 days and then ask, do I really need it? You might find that you really don't. Restaurants can be great, but why not rather invite friends around and eat at home? When your friends apply the same approach, eating out will be more social and yes, much cheaper. Okay, while you are on the eating topic, consider cooking double or triple portions when you have time and freeze the extra portions. This way, you avoid the extra expense of takeaways for those evenings when you are running late or when you simply do not feel like cooking. The gym membership. Where's the gym again? Yes, for many of us, we pay but don't really play. Consider cancelling or not renewing your membership and rather exercise by walking or running. Pay cash for medical bills as your doctor or dentist. They will generally give you a cash discount. Sure, you will have to submit your account yourself, but your medical aid cover will no doubt stretch far longer and savings will keep adding up. Your cell phone can talk away your income quite efficiently as that monthly debit order rocks on your bank account. Consider going to prepaid. The per minute rate might be a bit higher, but you kind of think twice whether you need to make a call or send a WhatsApp instead. With vehicle insurance, insurance companies will always only pay out the market value of your car. Your car's value decreases each year. Contact your insurance broker and reduce the amount of cover you pay to match your car's value. One key item has not been mentioned, your short-term debt. Keeping track of the money you spend each month on items you need will help you manage your finances. But more critically, it will help eliminate the need for costly credit. Try our free mobile budgeting tool to track your spending. Go to mobiletobudget.com to register. You will then simply create your budget capture expenses on the go, and then check on a regular basis to see if you're sticking to your budget. Registration is free and costs are 20 cents per expense capture. Any type of phone can be used for this budgeting tool and after using it for a few months, you will most likely agree that it's the easiest way to keep track of your spending and the most affordable bookkeeping system for your own budget. You can even load the budget and mobile number of your partner so that you can both keep track of the total household expenses. Compare your budget each month with the actual spending and then adjust your mobile to budget to make sure that you are always on top of your spending. While credit can be used responsibly, using credit cards or short-term loans to purchase non-essential items is often costly in the long run. Now let's see how careless use of credit can impact on you and your family. You would normally buy your groceries and other essential items every month. These are typically cash purchases. But why not buy that flat screen TV? Everyone seems to have one and you are told that you can pay it off over 12 months if you purchase it on credit. Out comes the credit card and you are now enjoying your TV programs in full HD. Along comes month two. You still have enough cash for most of your groceries, but you buy a little less as you make that first installment to pay off your new TV. You are, of course, also paying the interest on the outstanding balance. And, oh yes, don't forget that monthly admin fee. Well, that wasn't bad, you say. Maybe I should get the PVR decoder. Then I can record all my programs and watch them when I want to. 
the credit card comes out again and you are now the proud owner of a PVR decoder. Month three arrives and the fridge is looking a little empty. You buy your groceries but realize you have to buy far less. You now have to pay the installment for the TV, the PVR decoder and the interest and admin payments for both. Maybe I can buy some groceries on credit, you say? You get the picture. Purchasing items on credit can be risky and over time you will have less and less money available for the items and services that you and your family really need. This simple approach can help you. Collect details of all your short-term debt accounts. List these debts on a page or spreadsheet from the smallest outstanding balance to the largest. Keep on paying the normal monthly repayments required on every account each month. Then use spare cash identified in your budget to pay extra on the smallest debt amount each month. Keep on doing this until it is paid off. We'll call it your debt busting payment. With that debt paid off, add what you were normally paying off on the smallest debt onto your debt busting payment and start paying off the next smallest debt. You get the idea. Each time you pay off a debt, you add the normal monthly payment to increase the size of your debt busting payment. Doing this will also save you interest, admin fees and credit insurance. But most importantly, you will more easily afford your dream home. Another way to improve your affordability is to apply for a FLISP subsidy. FLISP stands for Finance Linked Individual Subsidy Program. This is a government subsidy that assists qualifying households by providing a once-off subsidy between the ranges now shown on screen. The criteria to qualify for FLISP is as follows. It is targeted to households whose monthly household income ranges between the amounts shown, who are purchasing a property for the first time, who have secured bond finance, who have a dependent spouse or child, and who are South African or hold a permanent residency permit. We can help you apply for a FLISP subsidy should you wish to purchase a home. Once your bond is already approved and you meet the qualifying criteria, go to flisp.co.za to apply. That brings us to the end of this module.